Alfior is one of the strongest units in the entire game. It's a sentence I did not think I'd be saying after we've seen his Neo Vision Awaken form. Fleet-footed Sky Pirate Bouthier's Trustmaster reward is a materia that you've seen before, boosting your unit's attack by 500 and giving them a double killer against all species. It's an excellent materia, but limited to units from the owner's game, Final Fantasy XII. His Super Trustmaster reward is his clothes, which he'll only give to other physical damage dealers. It has a lot of HP, strong attack, and there's defense and spirit. It also grants a 50% boost to limit burst damage, and when equipped to Bouthier himself, gives him 500 extra attack. On to his active abilities. Who do you think they're talking to? Can be used once per battle. It boosts Bouthier's attack by 300%, his limit burst damage by 200%, and boasts his limit burst gauge. Item knowledge will let you use a potion on your team. Miss Decoy turns one ally into a provoke tank, then grants them a 30% general mitigation buff. Remedy cures status ailments from a single ally, and also removes stop. Phoenix Down partially revives an ally. Mega Elixir restores a large amount of HP and MP for your team. High Ether will restore 300 MP to an ally. Aqua Shot deals water damage to a chains of boating trike and lowers water resistance by 120%. Mud Shot is the same but Earth. Mist Charge, Water, will activate one of two effects. The first, you're going to love this one, will inflict a 30% gun in peril, boost Bouthier's water damage by 30%, and triplings the damage modifier of his limit burst. The second, let me show you how it's done, looks like it does the exact same thing. Passives, with his Trustmaster reward or Super Trustmaster reward equipped, Bouthier gains 500 attack, boosts his limit burst damage by 50%, and his limit burst gauge fill rate by 200%. The man has 4 strong killers, meets half the maximum boost to limit burst damage, has a strong limit burst regen, and decent evasion stats. He prefers to carry a single weapon, meaning half the cap to the chain limit boost. He also has boost to other forms of chaining, and his normal attack has been changed to Sky Pirate Skill, which chains a boating trike, steals, and boosts his limit burst gauge by a small amount. Giving him light armor will really boost his stats. At EX plus 2, he gets Warring Spirit 2. At EX plus 3, he gets 500 attack. Let's look at his limit burst. It lowers water resistance by 125% and deals water damage. Time to change forms. Althier has a true brave shift, which has no limitations whatsoever. On to his active abilities. Dingner deals fire damage to chains of Bouting Shrike, lowers fire resistance by 120%, and imbues fire onto Bouthier. True Wither inflicts a 87% attack break. True Expose is the same thing but defense break. Mischarge, fire, will either activate I never miss, or please, my regards, both which inflict a 30% spear in peril, boosts his fire damage by 30%, and trim the damage modifier of his land burst. Passives. Interestingly, in this form, though his killers are the same, their values have actually switched around. Aside from that, a lot of his passives work the same way, though his normal attack is now changed to Pride of the Leading Man, which deals strong non-elemental damage at chains of Bouting Shrike, and trimpens its own damage modifier. His light armor boost has also changed to heavy armor, not that you can tell from the sprite. Let's look at his land burst. It's a non-elemental attack that gets stronger when used against certain species. The multiple hit counts deal weak damage unless going up against a beast, the next blow is weak unless it's up against a human, and the final blow is weak unless it's up against a machine. Let's rank brave abilities. They all raise the damage modifier, not their effects. I'd prioritize Gingner over the other two, as their damage modifiers aren't that strong compared to his normal attack. Since his brave shift is kind of flexible though, the abilities here aren't terrible choices. Time to make a damage rotation. I'll be using him as a fire damage dealer, assuming you've got the species advantage, and, well, Fran. If not, stick with water. On turn 1, cast Mischarge, fire. Who do you think you're talking to? Ingingner. On turn 2, use his land burst. On turn 3, use his normal attack. Repeat his rotation from here, though since he can't use his grandest ability and his land burst cost is extreme, you'll likely just stick with buffs and attacks. So, EX2? Unfortunately, Bothier's EX Awakenings just increase his damage. Which, well, I guess he is a damage dealer. Althier's limit bursts don't have any fancy effects to them, but getting fast access to one can be useful for damage, and while his Super Trust Master reward is a bit simple, it's still pretty strong. EX plus 3 is expensive. So how good is long name Balthier? Well, support-wise, the item kit is certainly something you could use, and the brakes are pretty good for on-demand, though it's obvious he's missing 2 of the 4. The ability to turn someone else into a provoke tank can also be pretty valuable, as I often forget not everyone has 2 Mugo charms. His mischarges charges do seem a bit much, like why even put them if they do the same effects? But that's the thing. If you manage to speed up the cooldown and get the opposite result of the 50-50, then you'll be able to stack both damage modifier buffs. Is it worth the trouble given it's not even a guarantee? Uh, probably not, but it's worth mentioning. Now, damage. Why is his limit burst so expensive? 
First, by standalone standards, his base form is stronger than his brave shift, and quite capable too, drawing closer to the strength of kinda powerful units. However, if you don't like being locked to water, you can always use his brave shift, which is extraordinarily pathetic. Even if you hit one of the three species, you're still better off using his base form. However, hit two of them, and you've got a damage modifier up there with the premium units. Hit three of them, and you're from the future, please don't tell me that happens. But, even though this has incredible potential, it's also not really easy to pull off, and very reliant on the fight. After all, you'll need to be fighting something that happens to be two out of the three species for Balthier to really shine. Compare this to Nelika, who only needs to match one versus Balthier's two. But, there's a saving grace. If you have Neo Vision Awakened Fran, she has an ability that massively strengthens the damage modifiers of Balthier's than at burst. Use it, and his base form's modifiers will beat out Esther of Sylvie, though not in Clash of Wills. It's also still weaker than Anelaga who hits a cyborg Pebo, but if you instead focus on his brave shift, due to the number of hit counts that damage modifier absolutely skyrockets, even ignoring the need to hit the right types. Hitting the correct enemy from there on will further boost Balthier's damage, though at that point it's actually left everyone else behind. Of course, needless to say, the big damage modifiers aren't always indicative of an overpowered unit, but well, as a flexible damage dealer, Bathier is pretty close. Thanks for watching, and if you liked this video, leave a like and subscribe. Comment below if you summon Bathier. Hopefully, you've managed to get Fran, because while he's outstanding for support, he's not particularly notable without it. Interesting if you're watching this video after this banner ends, as it likely means he's now diluting the pool.